Hi, today we are going to learn closure property of regular expression. The regular expression if L1 and L2 are two regular expression then its union is also a regular expression. For example, if AP is L1 and L2 is A closure then AB plus A closure is also a regular expression. Similarly, concatenation of two regular expression is also regular expression. If L1 is equal to A closure and B is L2, L2 equal to B, then concatenation of L1 and L2 equal to A closure and B, that is also a regular expression. So closure property says after performing these operations, you may get regular expression. Through these operations, you can reduce your time for evaluating particular regular expression. Lean closure for if L is a language of A string, then L closure is also a regular expression of A. Similarly, intersection of two regular expression is also a regular expression. Difference of two regular expression is also a regular expression. Complement if L is a, for example, if sigma A comma B and there is a language that accept A closer B then L complement is also a regular expression that you can get after subtracting sigma closure and L. So that is L complement. This is formula of L complement. That is also a regular expression. Reverse of a particular string is also a regular expression if L equal to A, B, B and L of R equal to reverse of this string B, B, A. That is also a regular expression. Quotient L1, L2 are two regular expression. Then the quotient of L1 and L2 is X value such that X, Y belong to L1 for some Y belongs to L2. If it is X, it is Y then quotient of this will be y belongs to y has 0 value, x has 0, 1, then x quotient is 0, 1. There are some points that you should remember for quotient operator. So these are closure property of regular expression. And last closure property of regular expression is homomorphism. That is important. If sigma and delta are two alphabet, Sigma I have assumed A comma B and Delta assume A B C. So homomorphism between Sigma and Delta would be H of L is equal to H of W where W belongs to L. Mean if Sigma is A comma B, a homomorphism is substitution in which a single letter is replaced by a Place with a string. If H of A is given AB and H of B is given BBC from two alphabets, then H of AA would be equal to a, H of A is AB, so H of A equal to AB AB. This is homomorphism. So homomorphism is also part of closure property of regular expression. Now we are going to learn one important point that we have missed in last class, Adam's theorem to find the regular expression of finite automata. Now how can you find a regular expression from finite automata using Adam's theorem? Let P and Q are two regular expression. There is a definition that you should keep in your mind and the proof is also asked in the examination. If P does not contain null string, P does not contain null string, 
then r equal to q plus r p has a unique solution that is r equal to q p closer. If there is an expression r is equal to q plus r p, you can directly replace it with r equal to q p closer. Let's take example. This is finite automaton. What is, we have to write the equation of this finite automaton. For that equation is q1 is equal to how many particular state how you write the equation how many ins are there for particular value that is equation you method of writing equation so q1 equal to q1 0 0 q1 0 is coming to q1 and epsilon first starting state i have taken as epsilon so q1 equal to 0 q1 and epsilon q2 equation how many ins are there one is coming to towards q2 and zero is coming to q2 so q2 equal to q11 after the moment q1 state take one then it reached to q2 so q1 concatenated with one then you can get q2 or q2 take zero then you can get q2 this is the way of writing equation. How you will write Q3? When Q2 accept 1, then it reaches to Q3. Or Q3 accept 0 or 1, then it reaches to Q3. So this is the equation for this finite automata. Now we have to convert into regular expression using this formula. So we can compare it first equation r equal to q plus r p if q1 is r if r is q1 so this equation can be written in this form q1 equal to epsilon plus r p this q1 can be this side q1 and 0 here q1 and 0 should be written in this format q1 state except 0 then it reaches to q1 so if we compare this equation r equal to q1 and p would be 0 so this is equivalent to using Iden's theorem if r equal to q plus rp then then r equal to qp closer so we can write directly write q1 equal to epsilon 0 closer that is 0 closer similarly for this equation q2 if we put the value of q1 as a 0 closer then this this equation would be 0 closer 1 plus q2 0 now compare this equation with r equal to q plus rp we will find q2 equal to 0 closer 1 is q and p is 0 so it is it's closed so this is final value of q2 so we have to find the expression for final state so this is the regular expression for this finite automata and this method is known as Adams theorem the proof of Adams theorem is very easy if r equal to q plus rp then put value of r as a q plus rp what we will get q plus r is replaced by q plus rp multiply by p, p q plus qp plus rp2 again we can put the value of r as a q plus rp at infinite number of times we will get equation r equal to q plus qp plus qp2 plus qp3 so on so r equal to q epsilon p plus p2 plus p3 plus so on now this is p closer 
So R equal to Q P closer. It is proof. So Adam's theorem is proof. So this is the Adam's theorem. If there is a regular expression in this form R equal to Q plus R P, you can directly remove it with R equal to Q P closer. Thank you.